Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I had my birthday recently and I got a bunch of cool stuff from both my girlfriend and my sister. And I want to show you guys what I got today as well as uh, I've picked up some stuff from Zing. Uh, it's been on sale and also some really old school Pokemon and Digimon stuff from like 16 years ago on Gumtree. The second thing I want to do in this video, I've mentioned my new shelf a bunch of times and I haven't shown it off to you. Right now it's nearly full. I put all of the new figures I picked up in the last two Army Army unboxings into the shelf and I want to show you guys what it looks like. And yeah, just show you where I'm at with this room in here. Uh, some stuff will probably get thrown around. So without further ado, let me start with what I got for my birthday. So. Um, it was really funny, last year my sister and my girlfriend got me pop vinyls, both without communicating with each other, um, and those were my first pop vinyls ever, which if, you, if you've been keeping up with my videos, I now have over a hundred pop vinyls. Uh, but this year they both gravitated towards board games, which is really funny. So this first one here is a chess set of Super Mario from my girlfriend. One side of the board is the Mario Brothers team, and the other side is the Bowser uh, King Koopa side, so you've got the Koopas and the Goombas and Birdie and stuff like that. And yeah, I really love this chess set. I didn't know it existed, so uh, my girlfriend found that in a hobby store and we've played it a couple of times and it's really good. Um, so the next two are a couple of Monopolies and this one is the Gamer Monopoly. So again, it's Super Mario and I haven't actually opened this one up and played it. Uh, but this is another thing I didn't know existed and I'm really happy to have it. You can see on the side there it's uh, the pieces that you play as are, uh, you can either have Donkey Kong, Peach, Yoshi or Mario and I believe there's a collector's edition which has extra pieces and stuff like that. This next one I did know existed and I've been after it for a while and that is the Dragon Ball Z Monopoly. I think that's so cool. Um, I've also seen that there's a Dragon Ball Z Rush board game as well as there's also a Pokemon Monopoly and a Yu-Gi-Oh Monopoly so um, you know basically all the different uh, squares that you'd land on that you buy are actually characters that you can recruit to your team and you kind of win like that. So the rules are a little bit different. Really, really happy to have them. Next, I have a couple of little merchandise things. Um, I'll show this one off first. This is a Dragon Ball Z mug and my anime mug collection, <laughs> I, I wasn't even trying to start a collection, put it that way, but I now have about five or, no, probably six or seven mugs um, from Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z and, you know, stuff like that. And what's cool about this one is, when you put hot water in it, it actually changes the image on the mug. So, I'll show you a video of how that happens, and that's really, really cool. So, it has the Saiyans on there, and when you put hot water in, they actually power up. And then if you put cold water in, they, they kind of go back down to the black background. So, that's really cool. There's also um, Sailor Moon ones of these, and a Death Note one where lights at the front, and when you put um, water in, Ryuk appears behind him. So going to be looking out for those ones. And again, something I didn't know existed. Really happy to have that. These are awesome presents. Um, the final present is a pop vinyl. And in one of my last pickups, I bought Light from Death Note. And my girlfriend and I recently watched that series and she got me L to complete the set. So they look great together. Um, and I'm really happy to have this one because I you know, it's a little bit harder to find. I couldn't find it when I picked up Light. You know, a lot of the anime figures I noticed that they don't really have them on sale very often. Most of my pop vinyls are like Western pop culture stuff. So really happy to have L. Uh, I love him and I'll definitely be looking out for the cake eating variant. So the next pile of stuff is just some of the stuff that I've bought that was on sale uh, from Zing and also some stuff from Gumtree and something that was actually given to me as well. Um, so let's start with that because it was around the time of my birthday. You can almost consider that like a present. So <laughs> let me get this out. This was given to me by my brother-in-law. He actually doubled up. Um, he had it already and he received it as a gift. This is the DC Comics Encyclopedia. Now I've recently been getting into comic books and this thing is huge. It's a hardcover book um, in like a slipcase thing and flipping through there there's just under 400 pages and it basically chronologues the history of like DC Comics and when everything started up and uh, just a lot of fact files and information and I'll be getting around to you know reading this piece by piece as I go I'm really happy to have that it was a really nice gesture that he thought of me the next couple of things I've had for a while but I haven't really had a chance to show them off uh, so these are some Pokemon plushies I have here Raichu and Gengar 
these retailed for about $60, $50 or $60, and I picked these up for $9 each, so um, really big discount. They're made by Tommy, or Tommy, uh, and they've made a bunch of Pokemon plushies. They also had um, Dratini, I think is the name of it. It's like the blue water Pokemon, and also, I forget what, I think it's Arcane, Arcania. The, the Fox one, the Firefox one, which I didn't pick up either of those. Um, because, you know, I didn't really want them to be honest, but I was happy to get them. I think they're really cool plushies and yeah, they're very soft and I'm going to keep them stapled in their boxes. There's some artwork on the back, so I'm happy to have them as well. The final thing I picked up, uh, is again, a couple of mugs and these are like some Pikachu Valentine's Day mugs. I'll get these out for you guys. And these were also discounted on sale. And, um, what's unique about them is this one's the first one. It's just a regular shape. And you can see Pikachu's on there with like Valentine's Day chocolates and Pokemon balloons. And the second part of it, because they've got love heart handles, they actually fit together like this and kind of make like the set. So uh, just for the record, I'm not going to be drinking out of these. They're purely for collecting purposes. Here's the sides of the other one. But yeah, I thought they were cool, and because they're on sale, I decided to pick them up, so now I have those. And as I was saying, the final things I picked up from Gumtree, all from uh, just one seller, and I got these for about $10 each. Now these are old school. I used to have this exact album. This is the Digimon FX Tarzos that used to get in like Smith's um, chip packets and twisties and, you know, french fries and all sorts of stuff like that. And this one is the full set, so I didn't actually have all of them as a kid. But if you flip through, they're these kind of lenticular holographic cards. Um, and they're extremely nostalgic to me. So yeah, it's the full set in this album. And I'm very happy to have it. Now the next thing which came with it, um, which I'd never seen before, is this Digimon, like, postcard album. So it's in a folder, and unfortunately the folder's actually broken out. So, what I mean by that is, there's the um, insert, but this would actually be stapled in, but it's, it's broken out. Which is not that big of a deal, I didn't even know it existed, so I'll probably just glue that back in. But yeah, this one isn't complete. I think there's 72 uh, postcards you can get, but it's like 80% complete. There's a lot of ones in here, and yeah, I was just happy to have it. I picked it up with the other one, and I got these for a really good price, so... Very, very nostalgic for me. This is like back, um, you'll understand the next two are actually dated 2001 and 2002. I don't know when these came out, but like this is way back when I was a kid and I was watching this stuff on Cheese TV. Extremely nostalgic. Uh, the next two are a couple of calendars and these are the 2001 and 2002 Pokemon calendars. So these are official and <laughs> they're so old school. It's so freaking cool. I'll show you guys the back. And then I'll show you some of the pages. Um, so I actually picked up a Dragon Ball Z calendar. I think I got that for Christmas uh, last year or for my birthday, I forget. Oh, there's nothing to that page. Let's go to a different one. But here's what they kind of look like. And these are like 100% clean, you know, no rips, no drawings in them, anything like that. And uh, yeah, I've actually been, back to that page. I've been using the Dragon Ball Z calendar as I go through the months. Um, and even though these are old, maybe next year I'll start using these, so... This isn't the first generation of Pokemon, this goes into, uh, like, the second generation, which I'm much less familiar with. I, you know, I played the original games and, you know, I watched the original anime series. I did delve into this as a kid, but I can't, like, remember every single Pokemon on the back here by name. Whereas the first generation, you know, I used to, like me and my friends used to play games kind of counting how many you could name and I could probably name like all of them even <laughs> like to this day. Um, and the final thing I picked up off eBay, again, it's very old school and it's a set of Digimon fridge magnets and this is sealed in the original packaging and you know, just got these pretty cheap, but they're, they're damn cool. Uh, there's so much merchandise back then. Like when I said in my history of anime video, um, that they merchandised the hell out of this stuff back then. They really did, and I wish it still existed today. Um, there was everything, like anything you can imagine. Sleeping bags, like clothing, you know, apparel, toys, cups, whatever you could think of. Like, the one thing I'm after is the Digimon Nutella glasses from, like, way back, where you'd have 
they were glass and then you'd eat all the, the Nutella and then you'd wash them out and you'd have the glasses. I used to have all of them and I don't know what happened to them and so I'm still after those on eBay. I forgot one last thing, I'm just gonna throw up on screen here the pictures of my cake. My girlfriend got this custom made from Mrs. Fields Cookies who they can do massive cookie cakes so this whole Pokemon ball cake here was a giant cookie and it was just so incredible I wanted to keep it um, but obviously we ate it with the family and you know I just have to thank my girlfriend so much for doing that. Um, it really meant the world to me that she put that much effort in and what a fantastic cake. I'd have to say it's up there as probably the best cake I've ever received on my birthday. Freaking awesome. Um, and yeah, I'm, I just wish there was some way I could keep it but I have the photos to show. But yeah, now I'll show you guys what my shelf looks like. It's really dark today. Um, so I apologize if there's no lighting, you know, we've just come into winter, but I'll do the best I can. <laughs> okay, so this is my new shelf, and if you can see, it ends just here, um, so it's just above my head. It's absolutely massive. I was, I'll come in closer while I'm doing this and show you guys everything. Um, but basically, the reason I bought this shelf was because all of my 360 and PS3 games, they were in my old shelf, um, which is pretty deep and not a lot of, like, stuff at the front, if that makes sense. So to have them all kind of alphabetized and accessible, they were all stacked on top of each other and, you know, behind stuff. And that's the main reason I wanted to get this shelf um, was to put all of them at the front there. And the awesome thing about this shelf is you can actually customize it to whatever dimensions you want. So it came all like in pieces, I had to build it but you build it in two parts and right here is where that's halfway. In fact, it might actually be right here that's halfway. Um, but all apart from this, like one section, you can customize it to be like this big, this big, anything within like, anything within one inch, you can customize it. So that's, that's the kind of thing, like when you buy shelves, not many of them these days are built for like games or DVD uh, size packaging because like it's not really a world where physical media is being collected or even in the house anymore So I was really happy to get this shelf because there's not any room wasted at all But if you can see here, I haven't got all of my games in there. Some of them are still over there in the TV unit um, Which is fine because I've used the rest of the space for anime Which there wasn't actually enough room in the anime room anymore to have all of these uh you know, slim pack DVDs and also Blu-rays. So if I take you guys right in here, here you can see this is my Nendoroid shelf. I have my four main Nendoroids at the back and then the petites at the front. And you know, it just looks awesome like this. I've had a lot of people come and compliment how it looks and I am ecstatic. I didn't think it would look this good either. Really awesome shelf. Um, then moving across, we have the Sailor Moon break time figures uh, with, you know, just Sanji and uh, Azunyan <laughs> miscellaneous figures, pretty much the ones that I could fit in there. Um, and then moving on, we have the next shelf, which has the Oda Nobuna figures and the Digimon figures. There's room for more at the back, so, you know, whatever I pick up that has to be that size is going to go in there. Then we have just the anime that's overflowing out of the room, and if we go down the bottom here, here we have some of my larger figures. That kind of brings me to my next point, which is going to be that I'm actually out of room to display all of my figures, so I'm going to have to put some of them back into the boxes. Um, which I've already gone through and chosen the ones I want to put in the box, so the next vlog I'm going to be doing is showing kind of what the anime room looks like now, which it is a mess. Like, it is a mess. I'm not exaggerating, you can't even get in there. Uh, but also, putting those anime figures back into their boxes, the ones that are chosen, storing them up behind the box sets on the top shelf, and also, uh, there's some stuff out here that needs to be done. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the next vlog, so look forward to that. Uh, but apart from that, I'm sorry it's a little bit dark, as I said. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.